Hey guys, thanks for coming out to the range. I wanted to show you um, the barriers that I made. Uh, I made these years ago. You guys have actually seen these several times before. If you look, you can kind of see the ghost image of where I had supports on these and I ripped all the supports off. Um, I ended up adding hinges to them because what I was finding was, um, initially these were actually, I would stick them to the ground with rebar and um, they were creating bald spots there and there because I couldn't move them easily because they were rebarred to the ground. So what I ended up doing was hinging them together and it has totally transformed how I use them because now I actually feel like I'm actually inside of, uh, inside of an area with, a, with, a, you know, with, with, with proper bears is what I'm getting at. It allows me to work double targets if I feel like it. There are targets in this direction as well. So I can actually work inside this area and then on the other side of the area shooting this way as you guys have seen in some of the videos. The only concern that I would say to you is when you're storing these, this is what I would advise that you do. Whenever you leave your range, lay them down. Because repeatedly I've come out here and the wind has gotten these and has launched them because it grabs them like a sail and pushes them over. Right now I think I've only got two points of contact on the ground. The obvious one is right there and the other one is down here. So what you end up with is barriers that are flexible, barriers that are easily moved. As you saw, I was able to pick them up and move them around. If you don't have um, these pegs right here for like when you're doing injured shooter, when you've got to lock the weapon and you've got to do things one handed. But if you don't care about that, you can even skip that and then the thing can actually fold completely flat and you can slide it into the bed of a truck. So anyways, yeah, uh, it's a really simple range fix or range hack, whatever you want to call it. And it gives you um, range tools to work with that are mobile. Everything I do is mobile because um, the owner was actually out here just a few minutes ago, the owner of this property, and he wants to move this range a little further into the woods so we have a, a larger area to shoot. So it's nice that I have mobile stuff. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out and practice. Have a good one.